Hello everybody and today will be a long awaited video on how to adjust uh, Sony DEX frequency response. Uh, it will consist of a few topics we will be discussing and uh, to make it clear we will measure uh, parameters and we will adjust and then like do measurements again. Um, so now we have a Sony deck uh, which has a relatively good head so as you may see no significant wear and it will lightly lapped by me. Uh, however, when I started to do my initial measurements, I found that frequency response R is uh, low. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. I may adjust it back uh, to the position where it was. So I start recording. Okay. So right now you see it's adjusted. So 400 gears, source and tape, source, tape, and 10 kilogears. Source, tape, source, tape, no change. All right. And we can check 15 kilogears. Source, tape about one decibel drop and uh, it's a first part of adjustment already been applied I will explain a little bit later but uh, here you may see results which you probably would not like in your deck even if it still work, will perform re relatively well you see uh, here is a uh, bump around three decibel are in the mid range and high range has a significant slope after 15 kilohertz right and if i will return back so i will show you i installed these two pods uh, which are adjusting uh, uh, correction level so and if i will return it back so it would look like like that. So with the original potentiometers, it looks even worse. So why why we seeing that? So that was original slope. You see, no high frequencies in this deck. Uh, even if heads in a good shape, and so on. Root cause are my understanding that. Uh, head material degrades. I have meat just probably about 25% decks which still has good heads. All other decks uh, have this degradation. And uh, it's a magnetic material has this has like metal which are uh, supposed to react uh, on the magnetic fields in the specific manner. And uh, here is the uh, uh, amplifier. So here is a head connected to the input of the amplifier. You see, it just loaded onto a uh, resistor, R101, 56 kilo ohm, and to the FET transistor. That's it. And uh, here is a left and right shoulders and differential amplifier here. On the IC chip, so in in many configurations, it's, it's, it looks pretty the same. Like different models has a, a very basic same layout also with Sony Dex. And uh, here you may see like uh, R104 resistor, 120 kilo ohm. Are uh, it uh, sets the amplification level over the all range. Uh, this C104 capacitor 100 picofarads it just to prevent self generation uh, on the high frequencies and the last part here is a uh, correction uh, 
Correction network is R105 and C103. And like as soon as all Sony DeX has this uh, capacitor as 2700 picofarad or like 0 0.027 microfarad. Okay. And this resistor is like 4.3 kilo ohm. So this uh, RC chain uh, adjusts uh, response of the amplifier to match uh, to the head, okay? So head has non-linear response and this uh, uh, RC chain in the negative feedback loop uh, adjust amplification level starting like uh, some particular frequency and uh, set the level, okay? And for the audio signal, this capacitor which is 100 microfarad, 25 volts, uh, acts as a short circuit and it gets back to the amplifier here. For the signal, it acts as shortcut and for the like uh, voltage levels, it acts as a capacitor. So this resistor will work uh, for the um, constant voltage level and constant current and for the uh, changing, like the signal does, uh, it will act as a short, so signal will go directly through capacitor and not through this resistor. So this chain compensates and as soon as we replacing this resistor uh, with a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer pot, uh, we can adjust uh, how significantly our it will amplify and what levels we will see. So now I will be turning it and you would see how it's, it's changing. So let's see. It's, uh, left channel. I'm adjusting it and it goes up. And now at 10 kilogears level is proper. Okay. That's what we like to achieve. And with the second channel, we adjusting it and it gets. Uh, now we have a proper level on 1 kilogears and on 10 kilogears, okay? But uh, we didn't correct the form of this curve. Uh, and as a result, we have a bump in the mid-range and a slope on the high frequencies. And to be able to adjust the form of this curve, uh, we have to introduce capacitors here in a parallel of this resistor and parallel to the head. Um, it depends on the how significantly you like to compensate and how your uh, curve look like. Uh, if your deck uh, is in good shape and not significantly reduced, or like if you have just like two decibel lower than you need to like and one decibel in the mid-range so probably 220 to 270 picofarad will work in this case we have a much significant slope so my guess for this deck is like about five six hundred picofarads uh, will make this line like uh, more linear and this will rise the slope and reduce this bump here Okay, so every two decibels, like uh, you initially see, like when you didn't adjust yet uh, on 10 kilohertz, every two decibel around 300 picofarads, which would need to be compensated. Uh, the worst case I've seen like minus, uh, I believe six decibel on 10 kilohertz, and it was uh, with uh, Nakamichi Dragon and I had to install 1000 picofarad to straighten up this line. Okay, now let me install capacitors and we will see how curve will change. So I will not adjust level, but you would see that curve will become more, more linear. See you in a moment. Hey guys. And here I'm just installed two capacitors on 680 picofarad. So now 
let's uh, connect the deck and check how it will respond. Hey okay, guys, and here I'm back. Now let's start recording. And at source, uh, here is a tape. So you see as a curve has significantly became higher up to 18 kilogertz and now I'm using the ports oops uh, it's just end of the tape okay let me reverse the tape uh, and let's adjust the curve so here I believe it was too much, 680, probably 330 would be the best. You see the bump above 10 kilogertz, even if I give it just the level, it's still a little bit too elevated. Okay, so let me install 330 microfarad, so probably it would be the best for this deck. Uh, hello again guys, uh, here let me start recording and let's see uh, uh, something gets wrong okay so maybe this program just don't work yeah sorry let me check he just lost house was still nothing let's try again yeah here finally it works let me see level source Yeah, all right, we have level, it's recording level, it's fine. Now, let's see minus 20 frequency, white noise. Okay, you see, it's normalized, it just a little bit lower, and but it's uh, flattened up. So you see this range is flattened up. So what I will be doing, I will be setting proper levels now. I will put my frequency response tape in to set the levels. So I made a new one. It's uh, between one and 10 kilogertz sweep. All right, and it should play minus 11, minus 10. You see it plays lower. Here. All right. And the other one. All right. Minus 11, minus 10. Nice. Now I will use tape to set levels for the 315 gears. And it should be minus one. That's a little bit, it's a teeny bit lower. Now, let me adjust. My left channel. And right channel. Done. Okay, now. Everything is tuned on the playback side. Let's see how it will record. So we record. 
14. Here is the source, 400 Hz. Here is a tape, a little bit over. Just let me correct it. Right channel. And left channel. Okay, ideal. Source, tape, no change. And now let's see response. Let it adjust, it's normalizing. Oh okay. yeah, as you may see, it's currently records pretty fine up to 17, like 18 kilohertz on type 1 tape. A little bump in this range uh, is about maybe 2 decibels. Oh yeah, yeah, you see 2 decibel bump okay let's do frequency sweep now this will be more fair we will see how this will respond But as you may see, we adjusted left and right channels, and it's, it goes very, very close now. Okay, 19 kilohertz on type 1 tape, you see, it does pretty well, let's try minus 10 decibel, Sixteen kilohertz, you see, on type one tip minus ten decibel. Let's see, minus six decibel. What you will get? But now I like this deck. You see, now it's records in place as it should on all levels. Minus six, we have uh, 14 kilohertz. Good. Now, uh, the last thing I need to check, uh, it's a calibrator. Now I have to adjust levels to make it proper. Okay, low frequency and high frequency. done good now let me install TDK MA tape 
let's do calibration for this tape so need to adjust bias and level done so and it's tape and let's see let me clean up let's see what we will get on metal tape now and now i'm installed 330 picofarad to correct the linearity of the frequency response i hope on metal tape it will be ideal Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You see twenty kilohertz as it should. Good. Perfect deck. That's how you may adjust, right? Let's while it will be doing zero decibel level. Again, like let's reiterate. So we are replacing R one of five. Or like on any Sony deck, you just need to find the 0 0.027 uh, microfarad capacitor and find a corresponding resistor. It's usually between 4.3 and 4.7 kilo ohm on schematic. So you just pull it out, replace with 10 kilo ohm pot, and adjust uh, frequency response level uh, to the desired position. Like. You need to have a good frequency response tape where you have 10 kilohertz, so we will be able to set the proper level, okay, on 10 kilohertz. Then you have to check again on the 400 gears levels, adjust levels as usual with this pot RV101. Then again, check uh, uh, frequency response and adjust as needed unless you will have proper levels on 400 gears and on 10 kilohertz. And uh, here in the parallel to the head or parallel to this resistor R101, I'm still at 330 picofarad uh, to make uh, the frequency response more linear. Now, you may see on metal tape on zero decibel level, it records to 18 kilohertz on the minus three decibel. You see? Perfect. Very good results. This deck will record and play really, really well. Thank you. So now, as you've seen, I fixed the IR sensor in this deck. And now, as you may see, it also plays and records really, really well. Hi. Right. Thanks for your time. I hope it will help in your research and you would be able to make your deck sound really, really good because I know over time they degrade. Plus, um, I have seen uh, articles about manufacturers, so they did uh, sometimes specifically, sometimes it was production like defects. Uh, in most cases, decks go like two decibel lower on 10 kilohertz. Uh, some things it was marketing to reduce his level whenever, but in any cases you will use like uh, factory recorded tape, you will be missing high frequencies. So that's how you may adjust it. I'm using my Nakamichi DR2 to produce frequency response tape because uh, I did it before and it's been verified on many, many, many decks. So I had a Pioneer deck, uh, which was playing this frequency response and didn't require any adjustments. I've seen multiple Nakamichi decks, uh, which plays this frequency response without any need of adjustments. There was just one Nakamichi with worn head, which has a lower levels above 15 kilohertz. Uh, but I have seen multiple decks uh, which uh, were playing this tape like two 
and sometimes four decibel lower, like when they when heads degrade. Uh, and in this case, like even if you will be able to record and play on your deck because you have calibration, right? Uh, you still uh, will be missing like uh, a possibility or a compatibility with the other decks. So there is IC curve and all decks should match this IC curve. So you would be able to interchange tapes between different decks. And that's, that's how it works, okay? So in this case, we make this deck perfect uh, with couple attempts. Now I will assemble it and it will be part of my collection. Thank you and see you, bye-bye. Hello guys, and here I'm checking and fine tuning the second Sony deck I have. And that's uh, frequency response on the type one tape. The same as 330 picofarad uh, in parallel to the head and adjustment ports as I told you before. Works ideal. And with my new uh, frequency response tape, I was able to find that in this deck, I heard that something is wrong, like a little bit. My son told me like that uh, he cannot hear the uh, like bells, some small bells. I are on one of the songs, and that's where like, uh, let me find my, my new tape I made, uh, it has one to 10 kilogears sweep, and it goes and goes and goes. And if I go to Lisa Juice, you see, right now, all right, a little bit off again, like you see, uh, frequency sweep is a little bit different on the face. Wow, well, let me see. It was just fine between lower and higher frequencies. And now it's, it goes a little bit off again, you see. Pretty close. But when it goes significantly off, uh, that's where like all fun starts because like uh, you see between lower frequencies and higher frequencies. Oh yeah, now I see that something's wrong with this uh, head setup. Let me check it and I will get back to you soon. Okay, I believe something was wrong with the tilt, like a little bit adjustments and it goes again properly, you see between one and 10 kilogears in phase and same amplitude and so on. And see now I will adjust till just a little bit. And it affects phase significantly. See, on opposite side. So proper tilt will affect phase between lower and higher frequencies. All right, now it works fine. Adjust it tilt just a little bit. And you see it plays minus 10 decibel. And it plays here, let me switch to the level. It's even a little bit elevated. That's what I need to reduce. It should be between minus 11. Uh, between minus 11 and minus 10. Because it's recorded on Nakamichi, and Nakamichi has one decibel lower reference level. Uh, Be minus 11 and it's minus 11 10 decibel don't light anymore good i'm gonna check in the level again because when we adjust levels on 10 kilohertz 
it may affect a little bit levels on 300 uh, 400 years and we have dolby level almost there just teeny teeny bit i want you know as a channel minus one decibel dolby level Hi. and we have dolby level here good so now i will check again uh, bias now we have perfect results for the low and high frequencies let's do recording Source. Some reason we have level. Oh yeah, why oh, yeah. one decibel? Oh, it's ten kilogers here, four hundred gears. It's been just fine. So, source tape. We can adjust a little bit recording level. One channel and other channel. Okay. And on 10 kilohertz, we need to go to the minus 20 level. So source tape. You see now we need to adjust a little bit bias. So it would match to the deck frequency response. Good. Now, source, tape. Perfect. And now checking one more time. We're recording a little bit of face. Uh, Hi, frequency sweep, one more time. Full adjusted. Ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. Aye, perfect for type one tape. Perfect results. Now this deck is fully adjusted, and we would be able to use it in full. Thank you. And see you. Bye-bye.